Shalom, 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 and greetings, and welcome back to another episode here at Is It Like Talk TV, one of the number one platforms where what? That's right, we don't get no paid media. Now, real quick, family, while we allow everybody uh, to kind of get in the building, um, before we take off, I'm going to go over a few things. Make sure when y'all come in, y'all hit the like button. Um, Make sure y'all share this video. Also, drop a comment. Let me know where y'all checking in from. Um, I did kind of shut down uh, Thursday because, uh, of course, my birthday was Saturday. Okay. You know, and um, shout out to those of you out there that sent me love. Some of y'all didn't know what was going on, but I'm not real big on the like the real on the birthday thing. And it's like, you know, wooty wooty woo. You know how you know how people be turned up when their birthday coming and stuff like that. You know, we do things a little bit different, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I'm not real big into the, like, this, uh, you know, into, like, uh, what what do they call it? Um, the I don't know if they classify it as a reading. I don't really get into, like, the horoscopes, things like that. But it's there's different elements to that stuff that do be right. Because, really, to be honest with you, all it really is is a study of people that's born during a certain time of the year you know don't let them people think like oh like they're doing something real deep all it is is a study of people that's born at a certain time of the year and you know just people have different ways different things of that nature you know uh just to make it make sense you know what i'm saying like i said i ain't really into all of that but there are different elements you would go through there and be like oh yeah i, I really am like that or i'm not like that you know what i'm saying but that's really all it is you know what i'm saying so anyway, uh, shout out to that. And, you know, and pretty much, you know, everybody that's going around this time of the year, you know, we're a little bit different. And to be honest with you guys, right, this is technically the beginning of the year. You know what I'm saying? March, you know what I'm saying? The month of a bib. You know, now, of course, we follow the Gregorian calendar, but really the beginning of the year is in March, the month of a bib. And it's really technically um, the season of a uh, uh, Passover that's really going on around this time of the year that they try to swap out for Easter, you know, so just to kind of give you guys a little bit on that. But anyway, you guys see the title. OK. And with today being, of course, another Babylonian holiday, April Fool's Day, I wanted to send a message out to Brazy because you don't want to be the fool. Uh, in this situation that you got going on with rap a lot, you know, and the first thing I do want to say is free honeycomb brazy, you know what I'm saying? Free that boy. And um, the reason why I want to take the time out to do this message to honeycomb brazy is because uh, one of the things about me is I actually, you know, feel the real, like the people that's really real, that's in the streets, I, my heart goes out to them because you got to remember that we don't get to change the hands that we're dealt. Whatever hand in life that we're dealt, we have to play that hand and we have to play it to the best of our ability. You know, and everybody comes from different walks of life. But one of the things that I do uh, feel is like, you know, if people are real, regardless of you know, what walks of life they coming from, they're going to remain real in whatever it is they doing. And we need more righteous rulers in these positions of power versus, you know, these dummies that we got that's, you know, that's that's supposed to be our representation and speaking on our behalf. And these people are just not like that, you know. So my heart is always going to go out to the real because I feel like in certain situations, when tides change, people are always going to do the right thing, regardless if they got money, if they don't. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, you are who you are. So what I want to do is I want to break down and explain to y'all what happened in this Honeycomb Brazy case and how they line that boy up. Because, see, the thing about it is, is rap a lot and Jay Prince, they shysty. They've been around for a very long time and they pull these type of moves right here to have, you know, what I'm saying to basically slow people like Brazy down. Because when you too clouded and he really don't need rap a lot, they like, OK, let's sit this boy back down because he doing too much. And the first thing that I want to play is a video um, that Brazy put out. OK, and let's get that uh, added. We well, already got it added to the queue. But uh, we're going to get into this because he says some things and there's a thing as called as being too loyal. You cannot be over loyal and too loyal to people because you're going to end up in situations like this. Also, I'm getting ready to break down and explain to you what do you do whenever you're in a situation like this? Because if I'm brazy, he should have just told on everybody that was in the car. And I'm going to explain to you why he should have did this. OK, 
Now, the first thing that I want to play is a clip by Honeycomb Brazy. And this is what he had to say in regards to Jay Prince. OK, the father seen it. Fair use, fair use. Also, like I said, as you guys are coming in the building, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all share this video because we want to get this video to Brazy. Now, we know he's locked up, but they do have access to devices. And, you know, nine times out of ten, he's going to see this. And he needs to see this. So make sure that you guys are sharing this video. And if you're from Mobile, Alabama, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all really sharing this because he's going to want to hear what I'm getting ready to unleash uh, this morning concerning his situation. Now, let's go. He's straight. Yeah, Finesse, gonna get some more clout, Finesse. Your views been going down, big man. Your views been going down, big man. Go get some more clout over here. Y'all tag Finesse, man. Tell him to join the live. I wanna hear him start his mouth. I ain't keep it real. That's all I wanna hear. I wanna hear this nigga tell me I'm in the wrong. Y'all add this nigga. Y'all tag this nigga. I'm gonna add this nigga. I'm gonna give him one chance to keep it real. I'm gonna give this nigga one chance to keep it real, man. Y'all add a nigga. I'm, I'm with Jay Prince and Ty Die. I'm with the dad of Ty Die. You hear me? Get that under, I'm with him, Ty Lee. Ty. All right. So you guys heard that, right? So one of the things that Finesse says is that he's with the father all the way to the end, right? Now, the thing that Finesse got to understand is that you, I mean, not Finesse, but the thing that Brazy got to understand is that there's certain things that has been said that you can't backtrack on. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things that was said that came out of Honeycomb Brazy mouth that we can't forget. You know what I'm saying? Now, him and Jay Prince can sit down and talk and have a conversation, but it does not take from the fact that Honeycomb Brazy spoke on a couple things, which I'm getting ready to play. And you got to understand that there's one thing to hash things out with people and be like, OK, I'm on a, you know, what I'm saying we, you know, we mutual, we, you know, respect woo, 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 and this and that. But there's certain things that you got to understand that you can't go back on. And there were certain things that Honeycomb Brazy spoke. And I'm getting ready to explain what they did to him and what's going on also we got to talk about finesse two times right and this is why i didn't go live the other day because i was going to say that for this live you notice that finesse two times is coming out and saying this and that and da 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 da, da. but i'm gonna explain to you why he's now got a voice in speaking all this stuff because he's on his way down the drain they done they done already crushed that boy and his music career is pretty much over with okay now what did Honeycomb Brazy speak on that I think that we need to take note on? The first thing was this right here. Well, no, you know what? Let's do this first, right? Because I don't want, you know, we want to make sure that, like I said, whenever we're doing things over here, we want to try to be as accurate as possible. Now, here's an article that was that I got pulled up um, speaking about the arrest of Honeycomb Brazy. Now, there's something that I want you guys to look at, right? Because we don't, like I said, we don't get on here and just start jolly popping and just putting stuff on people. We want to try to be accurate with what we're doing. So December 27th, right? Here's an article that was put out by 15 uh, News, right? And it goes something like this. Rapper Honeycomb Brazy is now charged with being a felon in possession of a gun. His legal name is Nashawn Jones. And according to the affidavit filed last Thursday, Jones was in a white 2002 Cadillac with Texas dealer plates that was pulled over on I-65 for multiple violations including driving in the lane without pa uh, without passing anyone. So they had been in that lane. And then once again, they got Texas tags on the plates. So you know that they're going to pull that because that's a that's just a red flag right there for uh, uh, state troopers when they see out of state when they see out of town, out of state tags. So one of the things that I want to put y'all up on game on is to the people that's in the streets. and Y'all need to know this is that when you you know, you moving and you going across state lines, whenever they see those out of town tags, that's always going to be a red flag and they're going to always pull that vehicle over. OK, but this is what you got to understand. So the Texas, the Tates, the states had, I mean, the, the plates had Texas tags on it. Right. And it also says that the states that the driver, Mason Filler, was wearing a soft armor labeled enforcement on the passenger seat was a, a Condor bulletproof vest uh, with hard plates. And it goes on to speak about the AR that was in there and it was uh, in the reach of uh, Honeycomb Brazy's uh, reach. So this is why they charged him, right? 
So I know that we talk about this, but you guys got to understand what they did. So what Jay Prince them did is they had to slow Honeycomb Brazy down because he was too cloudy. OK, you really didn't even need rap a lot. You know what I'm saying? When you came out because you was already clouded and just, you know, how Honeycomb, I mean, how Finesse uh, try to play it with you. And he even gave Finesse a chance, as you heard on it, to come over there and clear his name. But Finesse didn't want to clear his name. Now, all of a sudden, he's talking because Honeycomb Brazy. And it really was going on with Finesse is that Finesse has been exposed. He's a rat. You know what I'm saying? So his career is going down the trash. So he need the views and stuff like that. So now he has to try to speak on stuff that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's going to get him the, the viewing. So now he's trying to go commercial. So my thing to Honeycomb Brazy is you already really don't want this um, war with Finesse two times because you already exposed him. Because here's the thing, Finesse, you shouldn't have to wait to this man to go to jail and say, well, you know, all this stuff was going on. And I was trying to nah, you just you do real stuff. If that man locked up and he looked out for you, you it shouldn't have been no question. You should have just did what, what the man asked. All you need is for the OG is done. But see, when niggas got a backtrack. It's because the real is exposing how flawed these niggas is. You know what I'm saying? So this is what's going on with this honey with, with, with uh finesse two times. Your mama got booked, okay? And let's just get this pulled up, right? We going in. We ain't even gonna play. Whack 100. And then he talking this stuff about he finna go at whack. Man, come on, man. He don't want them smokes. He don't want that smoke in LA. You know what I'm saying? Because he already knows what's gonna happen. They're gonna gut him down out there. You know what I'm saying? He not big enough to to move through there like that. You know what I'm saying? And Jay Prince ain't going to be able to save him out there. You know what I'm saying? So this is just what it is. But look, his mama got booked. Look at this. Mama got booked at the beginning of the year for money laundering, right? Money laundering. So y'all got to understand this is why Finesse talking his talk because your mama done got booked. Your career going down the drain. Ain't nobody playing that stuff, man. And then did y'all see what the boy uh, 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 1090 Jake put out on? He has the statements from the actual people that the guy told on, man. There's no going back from that. So what Jay Prince them try to do is we got to slow Honeycomb Brazy down because he's too clouded. What do we do? We sit niggas down there with Texas plates, you know what I'm saying, which is already going to be high. They're going to pull this vehicle over with, and he's going to jail because why? He's going to keep this stupid street code and don't say nothing. Let me give y'all some game, right? And I know that a lot of people are not going to tell you this because a lot of these people that's trying to direct y'all, they have never been to jail, right? Or had to go through this. If you're at work, and you're doing uh and he was going to do a video shoot or whatever the case may be and these people are supposed to be your security if they pull that car over right they need to take responsibility for that right off the muscle and if they don't take uh responsibility for it off the muscle you tell on them why do you tell on them because here's the deal family when i was growing up and you know you in the streets and you're doing stuff like this if somebody picks you up in a car right and that car and, and that person has a has a gun or whatever the case may be. They need it's one of two things they need to do. If the police get behind us, you already know that you hot and you're not supposed to have this gun. You either supposed to jump out that car and run or you supposed to take responsibility for your stuff. What does it look like that you. OK, first off, I'm a felon. I'm not supposed to be around that stuff, but you're going to get in my car. And you're going to tell and, and you're going to not you, we're going to get pulled over and you're not going to jump out the car and run knowing you're supposed to have this gun. And then a the police here, you got to take your responsibility. I cannot go to jail for you. And then why would a nigga want you to go to jail for their own? Heat? Like that tells you right there the type of niggas you're dealing with and why you don't need to be around these people. Because if I got a gun on me and I'm hot and I ain't supposed to and the police pull us over, if I stay in that car, I'm not going to let you go down for my charges. It's different if somebody is on a lick with somebody and y'all get busted or whatever. That's different. But if you pick me up and I'm in your car and I know I got this car hot, I mean, I got a gun that's hot and I don't jump out the car and run. And you know what I'm saying? I have to tell them that this is my shit. Why would I send you down for my shit? And this is the problem with these Negroes. This is why they play on Honeycomb Brazy because they like, oh, he a street nigga. So if y'all get caught with that, he ain't going to say this because then it's going to look bad because he already exposed and finesse as being a snitch. But in a case like this, this is your place of business. Y'all send people down here to protect me. That's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? And Honeycomb Brazy got to understand this because you really could have lost your life. You don't play with your life like that. Those people could have really lined you up and got up out of there.
You don't play like that. And this is what I'm talking about. So, so what Honeycomb Brazy need to understand is this is the most high allowing them to run this move on you because you're getting ready to get up out of there. He already been saying he's getting ready to get up out of there early or whatever the case may be. But this is the deal. You never sit on no shit like that. If you get in my car and you got a gun and you don't get out and run and you not take it, I'm telling on you. I'm telling on you because I don't I, I can't be around this stuff. And if you sending people to me that's got the, that's got guns that's not legally uh, able to, to carry those guns, I have to I'm at my place of business. We got to stop being stupid. And keep and y'all trying to keep these fake street rules that they don't even follow. They're not even following it. If that was Jay Prince, he would have told on everybody. Y'all see what he did with, with what happened with Takeoff. He got right on there and he told you everything that happened. He did the same shit with Big Mike. You know what I'm saying? So what they're trying to do is they slimy. They're trying to finesse, finesse and get all the money they can get out of him because at some point they're gonna have to let him go. They're gonna have to part ways with, with finesse. He cannot stay. How how you gonna stay there? How you gonna stay there? And then, like, like family, like, come on. How's that gonna work? The man is the the police. They are listen. Ten ninety Jake did already. Un it's over with for this boy. Then your mama got busted on on money line. Y'all don't think that they talking? Y'all don't think they talking? Come on, man. Finesse can't hold water. You know what I'm saying? You think his mama finna sit in there? Come on, man. These people are talking. And this is the stuff that Honeycomb Brazy got to understand. Jay Prince did not come down there when you got a bird man put up on you. You need to let that shit go. Whatever the man done, let that shit be that. But all of this shit right here that he done. And listen, this is why they did it. Look, and let me get back to Honeycomb Brazy on what he said. The first thing was this right here. OK. And once again, fair use, fair use. OK. And we're just going to y'all can go to uh, hip hop access and pull this up. But listen to what he had to say on here, family. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about on Myra, it's on it's on end, it's on green, this on this on I put this shit on Jay Prince. I put this shit on senior. My little nigga from Mississippi smacked off Junior. <laughs> Stop right there. Did y'all hear what Finesse said? See Finesse, even though you apologize or you and Jay Prince got you can't never take this back. Nobody knew nothing about this dude being smacked. Like we like people already didn't like Jay Prince because of the stuff that happened with takeoff. But this information right here, how can you go back to this? Ain't nobody listen, family. Nobody knew that Jay Prince Jr. got smacked, man. So how can you sign to that? Even though, and, and you gotta understand that Jay Prince Sr. is gonna take and protect Jay Prince Jr. Then you just see what happened with the takeoff stuff. At the end of the day, he sided with mob ties. He sided, listen, listen, family. At the end of the day, Jay Prince sided with mob ties with his shooters, with the people that's gonna do whatever he tell them to do. Understand that. He didn't side with take with with with, with, with uh with offset and uh 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 and Quavo. He basically told him it's what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's what it is. This was going on. You yeah, you 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 basically caused that. This is what it is. So he's going to side with his son in the fact that you expose the fact that like you can't undo that. Y'all can, you know, be cool and work things out, but you can't undo that. The man got the man got smacked. You you basically exposed to the world that the man's a hoe. You know what I'm saying? How can you sign to that? How can any real street nigga sign to that? You know what I'm saying? You can't never take that back. You know what I'm saying? So the blood has already been drawn. Now, this right here also family peep this out. Check this out right here. Check this out right here. Now, y'all remember this? Remember when Honeycomb Brazy was going on that rant? Listen to what he had to say. Lord, for you, boy. Y'all ate off the whole time, been dealing with y'all. Like, damn, y'all the eight. Y'all the eight, bro. Y'all eight, bro. So, once again, fair you. So, when you guys go to uh, Mad TV, y'all can check this out. Honeycomb Brazy is going on his rent. He's basically exposing my ties. Like, listen, man, y'all ate off me. Y'all supposed to be rich, this and that. But this is what they do, even to this day. This ain't old. This ain't some shit in the 90s and the 80s. This is recent. So they basically trying to, they already extorted uh, Finesse two times. And now they try to extort uh, Brazy. So when he starts speaking on here, this is when a uh, senior called. You know what I'm saying? Think about this, Brazy. When you got out, he ain't pull up on you. He didn't do what Birdman did. He didn't do that. I feel like Birdman would have did you better than what Jay. Like, come on, man. Like, peep the game. 
Yeah, y'all can apologize this and that. You can't forget this though. He why he ain't pull up on you. He big this, big that. He didn't pull up on you. And they trying to, they were trying to like where they stored you. Listen, if y'all got all this money, why is it the same thing? And when I'm telling Honeycomb Brazy, you don't need them. You already clouded. When you get out this time, you don't need them. The people go mess with you. Forget all that. I'm gonna take this down, take this down. Get away from rap a lot. You see how they playing you. They going to take finesse. Why? Because I explained to you, these record labels want individuals that are soft so they can extort them. Real gangsters, they got to come on with it. This is the moves they put down because they, you know why? Oh, he ain't going to say nothing. He has this image, but he's supposed to told on them. Nigga, y'all security, y'all, this is for the business, nigga. This ain't no street shit. If y'all think I'm going down on that, y'all got to be crazy. Y'all got to take y'all charges. I'm not going to jail for you niggas. What type of nigga is that anyway? How can, listen, fam, what type of nigga is you anyway? You want me to sit down for your shit that you did? And this ain't even mine. We not on no links together, none of that. You got to take, yo, you take your charge, my guy. You got to take that, my boy. I can't go down for that. And if you're going to try to put your case on me, what that tell you about niggas? They slimy. This is how they rock and roll. And Jay Prince knew this, but it's to slow Brazy down because he's too clouded. What else did he say in this video, right? Check this out, family. Check it out. Check it out. And check this out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Y'all tripping. I'm a crash out. In real life, I'm a crash, bro. Listen. I'm my grandma, my grandma, I'm a crash. Like, 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 I'm gonna make y'all me. Like, all the internet shit. I'm gonna make y'all folks me. In, in real, real life, life, bro. In, in real, real life, life I'm gonna make y'all me. me. Like, y'all like, tripping. tripping. I'm not, I'm not that guy. guy. Then I, then I know how y'all get y'all money, come on, man. Listen, like, like a, bag that up. What you say, Brazy? Then I know how y'all get y'all money, come on, man. Like a see when he boss, man, 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 they can't pay no dice game no more. Listen, listen, family. Listen. Like y'all tripping. I'm not that guy. Then I know how y'all get y'all money, come on, man. Like a see when he boss, man, man, they can't pay no dice game no more. Listen, listen, family. Listen. Like y'all tripping. I'm not that guy. Then I know how y'all get y'all money, come on, man. Like a see when he boss, man, man, they can't pay no dice game no more. Can't bet none of that so when we think about takeoff, this is what happened. When we think about Duke the Jeweler, this is what happened. Brazy, you can't be that slow, my guy. You got to get away from this shit, man. You didn't already spoke on the business. You know what I'm saying? This is how they get their money. Y'all use these, these, these boxers and all these people to get niggas down there so they can try to trick them on the dice out their money, man. It's been exposed, man. That stuff is over with, man. This is what they've been doing. Hey, we're going to use all these people to get y'all down here, and then we're going to finesse these rappers out their money. See, and the ones that they can't finesse, y'all know what happened to them. It happened to do the jeweler, and then it turned around happened to take off. These are signs, my boy. You can't be playing around down here with no mob ties and all this shit like that, man. They're going to get you out of here. This is a blessing for you to be locked up right here because this is how the most high slows you down. When you get out this time, it ain't going to be no going back, man. See, and this is why y'all got to get this message to Brick because he got to understand this. Two things you spoke on. You exposed that Junior is a hoe. Okay, excuse my high class street English, but that's what they that's what they call people like that. Hoes. And you spoke on how they how, how they how they get these rappers and shit down there and how they finesse them out the money. You can't go back on that. And this is why this is if y'all remember, this is when Jay Prince really reached out. Because remember, he kept saying, Oh, Jay Prince ain't never pulled up on him. He ain't did none of this shit. And he wasn't gonna pull up till you start speaking on the business. So Jay Prince ain't changed. This is how they get down. This is their motto. This is what's going on. And they trying to finesse both of them. We're going to get finesse. We're going to use finesse. And listen, finesse is through, man. He's through. How can they bring this dude around? What real street niggas is going to mess with this dude? What, like, it's over with. It's over with. This is why he should have just kept it real. Now, if he would have kept it real with Brazy, none of this shit probably would have never came out. But when you're being fake, then you have to expose the other individual. Then this stuff come out. And, 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 and rap a lot. My, the, all these people in on it. This is why they was probably telling Finesse, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. But it's only so long you can go. And then the fact that Finesse got all this stuff going on, ain't nobody really bumping no Finesse like that. Ain't nobody bumping that shit like that. Too much shit that came out that exposed this boy to show that he's not like that. Come on, man.
And I hate to see the real caught up in stuff like this, man. It's just what it is. Your mama got picked up. Y'all don't think that, 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 that they spoke on the business and all this other stuff? You got, you got picked up for money laundering. That's Rico. That's Rico. That's Rico. And you, we already know who, she's, who she was laundering the money for. Family, I'm telling you what it is, man. I'm giving it to y'all. These people ain't right, man. Honey Converse ain't got no business dealing with none of that. If I was him, I would have just, whatever you had going, get away from them. Get away from them. And we know that this is how they was getting their money by trying to lure all these people down there and say, oh, we're going to have the boxers and all these people there. You see what I'm saying? It's just shit went south. You see what I'm saying? It went south. And we know that because we saw Quavo arguing with them boys about that, about that dice game stuff, man. See what I'm saying? This is what they do. Hey, get get the rappers down here. Hey, take hundred thousand couple. I mean, if you're doing this shit on the regular, this is how the goons eat, and they don't have to pay. Hey, listen, I'm gonna I'm bring y'all around them. This is what y'all do. This is how y'all eat, and it's just what it is, man. But the business been spoke on. This is how they get their money, and Jay Prince knew that. This is why he called it. He wasn't thinking about no brazy. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that they played him for finesse let you know what it is, bro. You that tells you what it is. You got to get away from these people, man. Ain't no way I would be sitting in jail, man. Come on, man. People got to take their charges, especially on some stuff like this, nigga. You with the company? You know what I'm saying? So this is what I want you guys to understand, man, about this whole man honeycomb, man. If he get out and he mess with that, man, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. You can't be loyal to that stuff, man. When people expose their hands, all bets is off, man. It's different if you real and you solid and you, you know what I'm saying, then yeah. But you can't go back to that. He showed you he going to protect his sons. He don't care nothing about that. This is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Man, let me see what y'all got going on, man. Shout out to the chat, man. What y'all think about this, man? Do y'all think Honeycomb Brazy should stick stick around with rap a lot and keep messing with them behind all this stuff that's going on? I mean, and then, like I said, Finesse, he can't get back from this, man. And then this is the other thing, right? Them boys down in Memphis, they on his top too. So soon, now listen, they listen, they on this boy top, right? Now he want to try to act like he in Memphis, like he slap, like, come on, man. Them, them boys catch you out there, man. They going to look out for him, man. They going to look out for him, man. Man, what's up? What's up, man? Got Memphis in the building, man. Got Memphis in the building, man. Nashville, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Maddie, man. Keisha, shout out to y'all checking in. Come on, man. Tennessee be in the building, man. What's up? I got OKC in the building, man. Yeah, man. So at the end of the day, fam. This is what's going on with these people, man. You know what I'm saying? How they listen, man? How can they support this stuff with finesse? Too like it's over with. There's no more. Uh, well, we don't like they, that, man. No people did the video, man. They did a video and sent it to that boy 1090 Jake, man. It's over with, and we gotta expose these fake gangsters, man. Because it's one thing to be living this stuff, right? Because the people that's really living it, they saying like, look, this is my lifestyle. This is when I'm chosen, and it's what it is. And remember, to not brings out that Yah has created the righteous and the unrighteous. And this is to show the distinction between right and wrong. So people know. So some of these people that's out here doing it, they have been created for that purpose. And we got to understand that. This is why Yah say your thoughts are not my thoughts. OK. And this is why I got to school these boys when they come through here. Be trying to act like, oh, man, man, listen, man. Yah done created all of these people and certain people have been created for these purposes. And it's right there in tonight. You see what I'm saying? But the people that's not really about that business, we got to get these people out of the way. Why would we sit out and listen to a finesse when he, we know he not like that? Man told on everybody, this is what they're going to do. And now that they got money, you don't think they're going to tell? They're not leaving the mansions, man. They're not leaving the mansions, man. You know what I'm saying? They not like that. They it ain't like he really in Memphis like that, putting it down like that, man. The people sp spoke about how the man flip flop two and three times. You was throwing up the rakes, and then you you know what I'm saying? Now you now you you putting it on your badge and all them. Now you vice lord. Like come on, man. Like these dudes is fake, man. 
they phonies, man. And we got to We got to expose this shit, man, because the more fake people we get off of the stage, the more we can really get to where we need to get to. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man. Honeycomb braids. It'd be crazy to get out and mess with these people, man. He told you. You know how y'all get y'all money? Y'all not going to. And they, they, they can't do it no more because now when Takeoff died, that's over with. Y'all not finna keep finessing and bringing these. These rappers would be crazy as hell to mess with rap a lot, knowing that people are getting killed. Like, that was unheard of, family. That's unheard of. If somebody, family, listen, if you in a city or town, wherever the city or town you in, if you're like that, and don't, and, and this ain't, and listen, this what no main event like you know we go in there everybody coming out this is a private event meaning it ain't number members there and if y'all gonna try that with all what that tell you come on man look cam now man they bummy and broke them people not them people not get money like that man they eat off the rappers man and this is what honey listen man honeycomb braids you so clotted you don't have to be signed with nobody that people gonna mess with you man you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be signed to that. And they saw that. They sitting back watching like this nigga doing numbers. They put that man in jail to slow him down because they know he's not going to say nothing. He's not going to say nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out to uh, Jackson, Tennessee, man. Tennessee in the building, man. Y'all know what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? And listen, and I'm getting ready to unleash that. The reason why they killed Young Dolph, man. I'm finna break it down, man. See, one thing I don't do over here, and I get it, people. You know what I'm saying? But we finna, when we come, we come and correct family. I showed y'all how they went at the channel, right? And I, that's why I just been chilling. But I'm finna really break down and explain to y'all why they, why they really, really, really killed Young Dolph, man. You know what I'm saying? And that right there, yeah, that's what people gonna want to hear, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we still haven't listen, and we still haven't got no justice for Duke the Jeweler yet. You know what I'm saying? We haven't heard nothing about that case since that man died. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all remember, you know what I'm saying? And this is why I was on Boosie Top because Boosie said on that uh that interview and he spoke about that murder and then turned right around. Jay Prince sat down and did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So these people don't follow the they follow the street rules when it's convenient, when it's not convenient for them, they don't do it. You know what I'm saying? So still nothing, still nothing on Duke the Jeweler, man. And I think that that right there, that whole setup was disgusting, man, because you was down here with Boosie and Boosie told y'all that the last person that he talked to was him. You know what I'm saying? So did they put Boosie in the blender? You know what I'm saying? And make and let him basically set it up like he was all with him. And then they came in. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, let's make it make sense. What really happened down there with Duke the Jeweler? You know what I'm saying? What happened? Because Boosie was mad. That man was shaking like a pair of craps on Vlad TV. Uh, 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 uh. And see, I'm going to tell you something. When people are talking like that, it's for a couple reasons. You know what I'm saying? And to me, I don't think Boosie really wanted no smoke with those guys, man, because he know down in Atlanta, the folks, they got a presence down in Atlanta. They down in that area. You know what I'm saying? So I think he didn't want no smoke. He was trying to clear his name. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, even Jay Prince, listen, y'all remember when Jay Prince came on the interview when they were asking about the Duke the Jeweler, what'd he say? Oh, that's just Chicago stuff. Why would you why would you put the heat on Chicago even if it was some Chicago stuff? That ain't got nothing to do with it. That's some Chicago stuff. Why would you think about this? If there was really Chicago beef, why would he throw Chicago under the bus and say, oh, that's they work. They did that. You don't think the people that did that is really trying to get away? Why would you put that on them? It's because, once again, they want to try to get the heat off of him, and he want to say, oh, that ain't got nothing to do with it. But how would he know that? How would he know that that was Chicago beef and that was going on? And then here's the other thing. People don't got to drive all the way down there to the rack to get that man. They could have got him right. They could have got that family. Could... Family, listen, when people want you, then they just show you LBG Duck. If they want you, they going to get you. They don't care where it's at. Now these fake YouTube bloggers are making it seem like, oh, they stupid, they dumb. It's because they're really civilians at heart. So a civilian is going to speak like that. But when you're a gangster, you don't care nothing about that. When, when we catch you, we catching up with you. We don't care where it's at. We got to have you. So I'm saying? So why would Jay Prince say, oh, that's from Chicago? It's to get the heat off of them to make it seem like they had nothing to do with it, but they involved in it. But this is what they do. They sit on these interviews and they talk. But if me and you do it, it's a problem. Another thing, let me address this, right? And to all you bloggers out there, 
uh, excuse me, when, when, when these people come to y'all channel, I had a dude that came to my channel. All you bloggers do is gossip and do this and that. But when y'all favorite rappers sit down on these interviews and talk about all this shit under the world, in the world, it's no problem with it. They can sit on Vlad TV, Vlad TV, because you know Vlad TV is nothing more than another uh, form of Jerry Springer. It's Jerry Springer. This is how Vlad TV stay alive. And he said, all these entertainers on here, they talk about all this stuff in the world, but if the bloggers do it, oh, y'all, no, the bloggers is not the problem. Uh, excuse me. Those of you out there that's sitting down on these interviews and talking about all this stuff, y'all the problem. Remember, if Boosie and Jay Prince them never sat down and spoke about it, we would have never knew nothing about it. And none of this other stuff. And it ain't just for them. It's for all these entertainers. They sit down. They talk about all this stuff under the sun. And then we come talk about it. And the bloggers are the problem. Y'all talk about, well, why is y'all speaking on this shit, folks? If y'all didn't speak on it, we wouldn't have nothing to talk about. And it's just simple as that. You know what I'm saying? People would, at that point have to make up stuff on y'all. But we not making this stuff up on y'all. This is real life stuff. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak about the other channels. But over here, we're talking about real deal stuff. And I just showed y'all what. These people came, my Ty sent these people down here. Jay Prince sent these people down there and know that these people are dirty. Sent them all the way down there and then got this man locked up. And then there's no responsibility for these people. They can't, he's not making these people take their charge. None of this stuff. Like, come on, man. Those people would have been told on. I would have never went to jail. Hey, y'all got to take responsibility for that because that's your shit and this is your shit. You know what I'm saying? How are they going to try to put their case on you? Why do I need to sit with you? That tells me that you have no integrity if you're going to put your case on me and you want me to sit in jail for something that you did. It's different if we're together and we're doing something and have agreed to go do something. That's different. But nigga, I ain't agreed on none of that. I bet they never told Brazy what it was because he would have said, nah, y'all just stay down here. Come on, man. You got to make this shit make sense. Who's doing that? None of these people would have did that. You think Finesse would have did that? Hell no. Nah. Them people would have been told him. They'd have been out of jail. He wouldn't even been in jail right now. He would have told on these people, man. Come on, man. These people ain't. Come on, man. So at the end of the day, family, all these people sit down and talk about all this shit on Vlad TV and all these other platforms. We come talk about it. Oh, the bloggers. No, the bloggers ain't the problem. Y'all the problem. If y'all stop the briefing and telling people what's going on, we won't be talking about it, man. And it's straight like that, man. You know, so I didn't want to be uh, all day, you know what I'm saying? uh on this i wanted to just kind of send something out to honeycomb brazy um to those of you down there in alabama make sure y'all share this and get this to that boy you know what i'm saying because you know they got devices they you know they see what's going on but this is stuff that you need to know because when you get out of here you got to know how to go straight you know what i'm saying if these people didn't do one do enough for you doing you right listen man you listen man it's okay to forgive people but you never forget people are who they are People, you shouldn't have to get called out on social media in order to do some real stuff. If you real, it should have been done already. On all these ends, that go for that go for finesse two times. That go for uh my that go for uh Jay Prince. He really messed with Brazy. He would have been down there, but he's showing you that he don't really care about you. Y'all can have these talks and yeah, this and that, but they're gonna backdoor you, just like they just backdoor you because they have to cool you off. This is how they cool you off because you're going too hard. You know what I'm saying? And like I said. Two things got exposed. Jay Prince Jr. got smacked down there, didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So how are people going to sign the mild ties unless you're going to extort this guy, right? This is the guy that need to be getting extorted. If you got smacked and you ain't did nothing about it, how y'all running around here talking about mild ties, this and that? And then you got a known rep that's signed. How they going to get rid of that? That look bad on both ends, not just my ties, but even even on a uh, 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 money bag your side. But they don't care. It's all about the money. And this is why I, I'm going to have to break down to you guys why they took Dolph out of here, because look what's going on. Look what's going on. And it's just simple as that, man. So you guys stay safe out there. We share this video, get this out there so them boys can put the put their ears on it. You know what I'm saying? And I really, I really be waiting on them to really, they don't want to call my give me some clout, man, so that I can go in. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to give me the clout because it's like they know. You know what I'm saying? So y'all share this thing. Y'all stay safe out there today, man. And uh I'm signing off, man. <laughs> you know, is it like